The following game has not been rated by the ESRB. However, it does contain light to moderate amount of combat, as well as things exploding and an active volcano, which, well, kills everything that is not hiding. So, figure probably around, if it were to get an ESRB rating, probably around uh, teen or so. So, with that in mind, anyone under the age of 13 or so probably should not be watching this video. Also, furthermore, this game is technically still in early access. That means this game is not complete. So, therefore, what you will see in the following video may not reflect the final product that is eventually finished. You have been warned. Greetings and salutations. I am Outlier and I bid you welcome to this channel. Joining me today is, of course, my usual co hosts, Snowball and Wolf. And today we're returning back to Vulcanoids. No, this is still not Subnautica. Well, I keep playing this game because I find it fun, and if the YouTube technology tools and equipment or anything to say about it, people have actually been watching this series of videos, and on a platform based off of user interaction, doing things that get people to actually watch the videos is helpful, especially when you don't partake in the normal avenues of uh, success in this type of medium. But I'm a hermit, I'm crazy like that. But we're not here to pl uh, talk about me. We're here to play Vulcanoids. And the premise of Vulcanoids is that you are an explorer, and you were sent to this volcanic island where your people originally had a colony on, but the volcano kept erupting and basically destroyed it. So you're here to check to see if the island is once again suitable for rehabilitation. And the only problem to this goal, other than the volcano that erupts like clockwork, wiping clean everything on the surface world, and anything beneath the surface for that matter, is an entire army of robotic enemies known as COGS. And while you're not quite certain what uh, the goal of the COGS is, uh, every interaction you have with them is by default hostile. So you're basically fighting a one-man war against an unstoppable and innumerable army. And your primary key, to a certain extent, only key to success is a mobile base known as a drill ship, which can dig below ground, move from location to location, and uh, it's highly customizable and it's basically uh, the center of your sole operation. You lose the drill ship, and basically all is lost. You'll get a general idea of how it goes as we play. Uh, as such, this game is of course made by... Thank you again. And uh, that being said, let us begin. Okay, so here we are in what passes for the cockpit of the drill ship. Uh, I believe. 
believe we're currently underground. I and the only way I know that is the fact that the windows can't be opened. So I say what we'll passed for the cockpit because there's no default cockpit. It's basically the upper deck of the front of the drill ship, but I could technically put the pilot seat wherever I want. So, I should point out, I don't believe I've actually bothered to play any of this game in between episodes. So, in addition to accidentally pressing the wrong button, which seems to be standard procedure for pretty much every game that I play, uh, everything is as I left it. So, we have this three-star uh, refinery drill ship hanging out right there. As well as this three-star military drill. And in order to proceed on with the storyline of the game, I need to take out a three-star drill ship because it has the parts required to build a better drill to attack the second laser drill that the cogs are using to, I guess, fuel their war machine and probably their entirety of their civilization. And if you saw last episode, you'd know that I had, well, issues with putting it uh, nicely uh, in regards to uh, how do I want to put this? Fighting a three-star drill ship, and by that I mean I managed to blow a hole in the side, sneak in, uh, destroy a good chunk of what's inside of it, but uh, I ran out of supplies and equipment and ammunition. Before I could finish the job and I got taken out. So part of the reason why I actually went back to the surface and well surfaced the drill ship or as I like to call it the auger is because uh, I need to well build more stuff. So first thing once we get uh, up and well running is to get it up and running and by that I mean we open up all the uh, compartments of the drill ship so everything starts being made everything starts being produced now the old plan that I had doesn't seem to be working so the new plan that I have yes I do occasionally plan things is to basically uh, essentially strip down the equipment that I have so like for instance the weapons carry right now four I have access to. The shotgun, submachine gun, pistol, and the mortar. Alright, so we took some fire, so where exactly? I'm guessing they came from this side. Of course, the... Huh. I did not know you could actually switch weapons by scrolling the mouse wheel. Learn something new every day. So I get for playing a lot of Mountain Blade Banner Lord. I should say Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. So anyway, Master Plan, as I was saying, I can carry four weapons, and which means I'm carrying four different types of ammo, well, four different weapons, four different types of ammo, and uh, basically four of pretty much everything. So my one thought, I don't know why I'm pulling stuff out of here, I mean the storages are open, they all go, they all get access the same way.
but my one thought is to basically not carry as many weapons. Uh, I'm thinking of only taking the submachine gun and the hand mortar. Uh, submachine gun to take out all the cogs, the hand mortar to actually take out the drill ship. And then probably pack extra explosives and, well, more ammo for the two weapons that I am taking with me. Definitely more health kits, or pretty much the same number of health kits, and uh, but definitely more armor. Because one of the things that happened quite quickly was that I ran out of armor. So if you notice the fact that submachine that uh, things like ammo and uh, stuff for the well pretty much everything uh, is popping into existence, the reason for that is because you know, if I go down here, I have these guys which are basically automating all of my supplies. So it's making things like health kits and these would if it had the resources to do so and I need more copper tubes and I'm guessing I'm out of copper yes I am but it automatically produces everything and puts it all back into storage so if for instance the thing making the copper tubes or even the copper armor um, it requires various copper parts and the copper parts are made at this one assuming of course I actually had copper to begin with and I don't actually believe I do I mean I could probably salvage copper from a variety of different things but for now yeah I don't really have anything that I'm willing to give up besides things like the copper radiator, radiators would just be rebuilt by uh, these things, so it's kind of a moot point there. But uh, hopefully I should be good with, what, 16 health packs? Five extra things of armor. Just top up right now, just for fun. Save on inventory space. Alright, so then the next question becomes, where am I storing everything? I guess right in here. Technically, uh, this is for various uh, things like ammo and get out of the thing. Various uh, types of ammo, so that way you can just basically go in and grab uh, extra storage for ammo. But, um... I don't know, I guess I should have enough for right now. Watch, I say that and I still run out of ammo. What my hand grenades? Got oh, one hand grenade. Alright, so, I mean, I really don't want to assault a, dr a military drill ship or even assault another kind of drill ship while there's a military drill ship uh, around. So my one thought is because all the base supplies that I need that I don't have excess of requires copper to actually pack up, go back underground, go back to the first area and uh, start getting copper. I'm just going to grab pretty much everything I think I might need. Did they blow the window off? Yeah. There was a window there. Now there isn't. 
Do I have a spare? Does not look like it, and I believe, much like all the other base components, it also requires. Copper. I'm just going to grab this repair, repair kit real quick. Could have sworn there was uh, panel damage out in the back area. The back, I mean like right in here. Of course, the one that I grabbed instantly ran out because it was, well, practically finished to begin with. That's fixed now. And now we just have to close all the watertight doors, even though I technically don't have to. Mostly because it's not going underwater. But for thematic purposes, I enjoy doing so. At which point, we close everything on the drill ship. And we go down. Alright, so since we're in the second area, we won't actually find copper in here. We have to go back to the first area, uh, where all the basic materials are. And we'll, however, stop and get coal, because the auger constantly hungers for coal. And I mean constantly. So we'll grab this amount of iron, and, uh, and there's coal in here. Yes, I'm well aware that I'm grabbing pretty much everything except what I said I was going to go looking for. And the main reason for that is um, I'm actually looking for the bridge to the first area. So, it'll kind of look like this thing. But here, just be made of this kind of rock and not have this level, this uh, key lava piece right here. I believe it's down this way. At least it should be. Yeah, no. Say so yeah, here we are, but the answer is no. Here we are. Oh look, coal. Yeah, and here we have some copper scrap. Wait, I can find a three-tier drill ship down over here? Supposed to be the first area. I'm not supposed to be able to see it. Of course, it is all the way over there, and it's basically it's probably just reading this whole area as one location, even though I can't get to there from here without going back up. And here is hoping a slightly weaker three tilt drill ship would be in this area that I can fight. So much for that. I am also picking up sulfur just simply because pretty much every uh, bit of ammo that's in that I can get my grubby little mittens on it generally requires sulfur. So 
while. I may eventually stop needing copper outside of like basic necessities and you know backup supplies and equipment. I will always need things like coal and sulfur. <laughs> Once I do get all my copper, all the copper that I want, I'm still going to need to have to spend time to refine everything and, you know, build all the components and equipment and supplies that I want to slash need. Also, this timer here is to count down when exactly the volcano erupts. As I said, it erupts uh, pretty much like clockwork, and if I didn't say it before, and actually said it during a different, uh, different episode, it erupts like clockwork. And I have a little over one, one hour. I have a little over one minute and twenty seconds as of now to basically wrap up whatever I'm doing on the surface or in the caves or uh, well either level of caves and basically get back into the auger, get it below ground, and uh, hide because uh -uh, it's actually pretty not, not a bad view. Yeah, there are some cogs over there. For some reason, they can't actually see the periscope. Even though it's basically a large metal tube sticking out of the ground where a large metal tube should be. But, um, the volcano over up in 44 seconds. And, for some reason, those cogs want to stay put. Although, I would say, guessing based off of the drag scar right here, there was a drill ship up here. Uh, it packed up and left, and because of the volcano, and that guy didn't get back in time. So, he's a goner. Alright, so, if we look at the volcano. That's it erupted. And the mushroom clay you don't have to worry about is this massive wall of gray death that's coming. Watch this guy. He is now gone. And I don't think he ran off in a different direction when um, I wasn't looking because of the ash cloud on account of he did have footsteps. Well, he did make footsteps as he walked, and now he doesn't. So that basically is what happens if we get caught out in the uh, volcano's blast radius if you're not inside the safety room. One benefit that happens after the volcano erupts is A, the timer resets, and B, well, pretty much everything resets, but also all the resources at this level, so all the copper that I mined, all the coal, all the sulfur, that is arguably all back. No, well, I say arguably because it's actually sem somewhat randomized, so there may be a, there was some copper like right here this trip. Next eruption that may be coal, when it respawns right here, that may be coal or sulfur. I would say some other resource, but in the first area, all you really find are copper, uh, coal, and sulfur. Or it could actually be nothing. There's no 
guarantee that any one particular spot will have any one resource uh, outside of the wrecked um, cock ships that uh, you'll see, which while they still spawn random salvage, for lack of a better term, uh, they will only spawn in that general area. So I keep hitting dr uh, drill ship inventory full, so let's get to the harbor. Uh, I want to get back to the harbor because the harbor is the safest place on the map. It's the starting location. It's also the only area that the cops won't actually attack. I mean, there is one other uh, entry point known as the safe grounds, which is just north of the harbor. Uh, it's, um, even at the very beginning, the cops will still attack there. Just as far as I know, they don't attack you at the harbor. Alright, so let's get everything up and running. Because this is a safe area, I'm not actually going to turn on the turrets. I know, famous last words, and I'm pretty much asking to be attacked, but... As I said, as far as I know, they don't actually attack you on the, uh... In the harbor landing spot. Let's build a new window. Of course storage is full. Storage is always full. I somehow actually managed to max out storage. Interesting. Hmm. I'll put you there for right now. Okay, I could have sworn I had a spare storage module left, an old one that I replaced for a better, a uh, bigger one. But, uh, the old ones could still be of use, so... I'll grab it. There, place that window, open it up. Everything's all nice and gray because it's all ash covered. I mean, hopefully this will be enough. I do have the, still have the uh, submachine gun and the hand mortar, but I grabbed two, three, four, five, six, seven, 1,600 rounds for the submachine gun, as well as 60 mortar shells. I also have 20 hand grenades and 10 explosives. And watch, that's still not going to be enough for everything. Vegetarian once again out of copper. Now let me see what I can grab in the immediate vicinity. And I know there is the copper mine north of these safe grounds, and technically I could go there. I mean, I do have over 17 minutes left. But I'm lazy and I don't want to. Also, that's the submarine. That's the vehicle you literally rode in on. Home to the only other humanoid person on the map. The captain of the submarine, which as far as I know, doesn't actually have a name outside of captain of the submarine. But he's the one that gives you quests and is basically uh, the commander of this operation. 
He tells you what to do, where to go, all that fun stuff. All from the safety of his volcanic proof submersible. Of course, I should point out, um, I only technically, with all the ammo and other supplies I'm carrying, I only have three extra slots. So, you know, I've already maxed out the coal that I can carry in my pockets. And we can only carry up to 10 things of copper per slot, and I already have 9, so I just need one more, and I won't be able to carry any more after that. As well as various scrap copper. Alright, so I believe this is the copper mine. But uh, inventory is not full, so I not like it can take it with me. So let's head back to the auger. Of course, everything is green again, and all the trees have resprouted their leaves, which means that the eruption is. Approaching. Although I think they changed it in the past. I think things started getting greener closer to the eruption, whereas now it's like 14 to, well, I would say 14 to 17, but it's not yet 14 minutes until the next eruption, and uh, everything's still green, so. Close everything down. Let's say make certain all the doors are closed, but um, I had to open pretty much half of them just to make certain the other half were closed. So let's shut the drill ship down and uh, head back underground. Head back underground. Now we go back to collecting various resources, as well as spend the next 12 minutes getting into position. So that way when the next eruption hits, I'm in the general vicinity and don't have to waste time getting there. I said, where's the land bridge? But I just found it, so there's that. Alright, and so down we go. is full so I can't pick up the titanium which is needed for the next uh, level of stuff <laughs> start shoving everything back in here all right so this is a refinery tier 3 drill ship the other one is because there does seem to be two in this general area always oh, another refinery one. interesting I really 
should come with a bigger inventory, at the very least some way to expand it. As well, it's not an issue while all these storage devices are open, and it basically thinks everything is in the same cargo bay, and cargo storage facility, and uh, just fills it wherever. But when everything's packed up and shut down, and the drone ship is underground, you don't really get any of that. Okay, so this is the cave area. That's one of the drill ships that I would need to take. However, I have less than eight minutes left before the next eruption, and I don't think I can even... I mean, I could try assaulting this thing, but I definitely don't think I can basically blow it up and salvage the parts in less than eight minutes. So, I get to look at what could have been. Of course, there is a second one. point out that well not 100% certain I should sure point out that I'm fairly certain that the periscope has the default location uh, for every soft soil that you can send out the periscope to and I don't know exactly how uh, far away from your actual position it is so like for instance I'm currently right here but if I get say go over here Huh. I must have changed that with the update. Okay, so we look at it from this angle. I'm assuming that the big red thing we're staring right at is... I want to say uh, the, a mortar turret, but I think that's actually a refinery module. Because there's a balloon right next to it. Uh, and they all have smokestacks, which I don't think the turrets have. And I know for a fact that things are color-coded the same throughout the entirety of this game. So anything manufacturing bent, be it cog, module, or I think even drill ship, even though you can't really change the course of the drill ships. But for those that you can, that's uh, manufacturing base, it's going to be blue. For refining and smelting, everything's going to be red. And for research, everything is going to be green. Now, while that doesn't really change the fact that uh, how combat effect of the cogs will be, especially considering there's also a black colored cog, which is more uh, military themed as opposed to any of the other disciplines. But I believe every drill ship that you fight will have always one of each type of module for the manufacturing, refining, and research. It's just that drill ships geared to other types of, well, certain types of roles will have more. So like for instance, this is actually a refining drill ship. So it's got one refining module over there, maybe another one over there as well, if we see it over here. And I think that's actually just the turret. But if we cut underneath of it, and look at it back from the other side. I think it's actually the same angle. Weird. Maybe the periscope has a certain spawn region area, so. Because now I'm over here and it's the same um, angle as before. I guess I was wrong about being wrong. Yes, that can happen. I should also point out that these drill ships, uh, every volcano, reset much like the um, resources they can find. Oh, so while there's two refinery cog drill ships here now, uh, before the last eruption, it was, I think, a refinery, and the other one was military-based. And next time around, for all I know, even though I feel the need to wait for the next eruption, they could both be military drill ships, which would make my day not as easy. <laughs> Once the 
again, the volcano is getting ready to erupt. I'm just gonna grab these things uh, before they go away. Yeah, and the two drill ships that were here, at least this one, already went underground. And I'm sure you're thinking, well, actually, no, this drill ship is still here. But I know what someone's probably thinking is that, you know, the volcano erupts on the surface. How bad can it be in the uh, tunnels? The fire crest and flow can't get under down under here. And the answer is it's actually worse, as we'll see in about 1 minute and 20 seconds. And that's the alert no, uh, denoting the fact that the volcano is about to erupt in under two minutes. It's weird, this drill ship hasn't left yet. Got less than a minute left before it has to go. Otherwise, the eruption is going to uh, destroy it completely. Yeah, there we go. Oh, somebody got left behind. Thanks to be that guy. That's what he gets for Donald when he heard the siren. It was actually a second one. But uh, they both heard the siren. They should have known better. And once again... Of course, I have absolutely no idea where the... I was going to say I have no idea where the volcano is coming from. So I don't didn't quite know where the lava would spew. But that's what it looks like down in the caves. So instead of ash and uh, poisonous smoke, we have fire and more fire. Followed by even more fire. Topped off with extra fire. With a side of fire on the side. And for dessert, fire. All right, now that that's over with, now we wait for the next pair of patrol ships to spawn. Okay, so there's a two-star research down here now. That's not going to satisfy the quest. So we gotta book it over here, I guess. Okay, that's a tier three military drill ship. That's not going to be all that helpful. So it looks like it's a tier two refinery and a tier three military? Can't be, there's three spots over on this side. I mean, it could be, I probably wouldn't complain. One of the issues that I always have with this is that uh, while you assault one drill ship, the other one uh, comes back around behind you to either attack you personally uh, from behind or to basically attack your drill ship when you can't help defend it. So I'm not quite certain if there's actually another area uh, back over here for another drill ship to hide in, but. I did say I was going to assault a drill ship, and even if it's not to my liking, why did that suddenly disappear? No, you're still here. Okay. Up we go. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is open up uh, all the components of the drill ship. So that way it can defend itself. Next thing I'm going to do is save. Not that I put that on camera. Anyway. So the military drill ship's off in this direction. 
And to prevent the cogs from sneaking around behind me to attack the drill ship, I'm sending the auger back underground. Well, I opened everything up because on the off chance I am actually successful and managed to secure the drill ship, or the enemy drill ship, and take it out, I can actually summon the drill ship to my location, and that way the auger will actually have everything open and ready to go. Take an extra grenade. Can't really take anything else though. Still have sulfur in my inventory for some strange reason. That dumps everything. Drop the sulfur there, because I technically don't need it. Let's reload while it's quiet because soon it won't be. And there goes my armor. Put on a new set while they have to chase me down. Now, I would like a longer range weapon to fight these guys with, but it's a case that I just don't have access to anything longer range. I mean, I have a shot, I have access to a shotgun, revolver, or a hand mortar. And the submachine gun. And the hand mortar probably isn't something you want to go fighting with. There's something up there. Good, that's there. And I'm surrounded again, aren't I? Because that set of armor. Come on. Now we gotta put on more armor. Top off the health. Goes my armor now.
Look at that thing, a turret. Come on, open fire. Now we gotta rearmor again. And add more health, and I can hear them. Reload while it's quiet. Okay, fine. Jeez. I like reloading when it's quiet. Okay, so now there should be plenty of holes in this thing. Let's actually sneak inside. Find their respawn. And blow them all up. That way, no more cogs can show up. Of course, if I was smart, I wouldn't be wasting my bullets. Where is... Where is the door to the front? Oh, there's another one. Now, in order to take out the drill ship, no, you do not get to hide. over there. In five seconds, you go boom. Blow up everything over here. Uh, 
Ah, there's the front. Stick you over there. Hide. I think I'm safe for this far out. Yep. Blew a nice hole in the wall, too. And there's the front. Or I think. I doubt it. Okay, I was actually close enough to uh, blow up my armor. But I have spares. This is the front. Stick you there. Stick you there. Back away. And uh, there we go. I gotta be honest, I didn't actually expect that plan to work. But do we take the drill, which is what I need? Take a whole bunch of tier three parts. And we still got about 10 minutes left. So that's some um, whole chunks, more whole chunks. Now, I'm sure this thing was completely filled with impressive and interesting looking loot that I would have loved to have, but A, my backpack was full with ammo and supplies, and B, I did not have time to loot, so there's that. Still, anything that they would have had, I would have been able to build myself. And what I'm really after are the structure components of the drill ship itself. So there's that. Oh look, there's our uh, manufacturing three-tier drill ship out here. So next thing we do is call the auger to our location because I don't feel like walking all the way back. So the auger's coming. That just travels in a straight line. And up it goes. Well, I definitely burned through more submachine gun ammo than I had thought. Because a good thing I took over 2,000 rounds of it, I believe. And since I left everything on, everything opens up. And it opens fire. Good because the other drill ship just sent an entire hit team. But they're dead now. Come on. Yeah, five whole parts. Four track parts, more hull, more hull, and the drill, which is what I need, as well as 13 destroyed production tier 3 modules. Alright, and uh, since we're still technically in hostile territory, let's pack up. They blew up the window again, didn't they? And uh, get back down before another assault team shows up. And now we leave to head back to the surface because things are a lot less deadly up at the uh, surface outside of the volcano of course that's deadly regardless of where we go so let's find a nice spot to not nearby this thing I'm gonna grab this as well Although it 
there's a two-star military uh, patrol ship. I could probably survive fighting it. But uh, let's grab this thing and then pop up here. Even though we got about less than six minutes left before the um, volcano goes blue. But the hard part is over. We acquired the resources. Well, I don't want to say everything's a cakewalk from here on out because it's just going to get far worse. Still, progress has been made. For that, I am glad. Let's just fix everything. And it starts. Alright, gonna need a new window. And I believe on the research station I need... Maybe it's production. Yeah, upgrade. I need to build this thing. So I need 10 tier 2 alloys, uh, 3 intel refinery tier 2, 1 uh, corundum drill parts, which I just picked up, and 3 intel production tier 2, which I happen to have. So this is going to start and it's going to take forever. In the meantime, everything look damaged in this room? Probably because things are smoking. Which technically just simply means that they're all. But uh, as I was saying, uh, so it's cranking away on the tier 2 production. Let's have it crank out, I picked up 13, so let's have it crank out the uh, tier 3 production. And now we're really under attack. And you guys came from over there. Huh. Almost broke my uh, refinery, my uh, research module. Interesting. Ooh, they did actually break a hole in this. That's not good. Where's my patch kit? Alright, and uh, the eruption's about to start, so fix you right there. Get all the doors closed. Do something stupid and actually look for the window first. Put that in. Close the drill ship and get us down.
Yeah, I'm right uh, where I was. Well, I guess maybe this is the track in. I don't know. I know that, yeah, one of these days I'm going to find out what that thing is. One of these days. Maybe once I take out the second laser drill, which makes this area a little bit more quieter. Hopefully. Maybe. Kind of sort of issue. Don't actually. So I don't think you can really see the volcano from here. At least not as easily. There's some trees blocking the way. I think it's in this direction. But that could just be a cloud as opposed to the steep the volcano. I'll find out in about uh, five seconds. location of volcano. Okay, cool. And then the world dies again. Pop back up. Because as far as I know, it's still building the new drill. Manufacturing and research. Yes, I will say that every time. Let's take a quick open of the windows just to see what's what. So there's a tier two refiner of oh, manufacturing over there. Why does it keep saying go underground? I don't get it. Anyway, there's one crest available. Quest, quest, blah. One quest available, where Area 3 is known for its thick layer of very strong granite. It's going to need better type of drill if you ever want to set foot in part of the island. So you have to get the current drill parts. It can be attained only from advanced cop drill sites. You are usually guarding lava source too. Hope you still have some from the previous raid. That's what I did, so now we have to build the corundum drill. Which tells me it's actually all about two thirds of the way done. Yep, two thirds. I think to get the other nice nifty little parts, I need. Okay, so I'm gonna say to get upgrade the tracks in the uh, hull, I need uh, tier three. Well, I need the um, tier three production module, and to get the tier three production module, I need five tier three uh, Intel production, which they just finished making, and 15 diamonds, of which I have zero. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Not really, but hell well. It is what it is, and it's not what it's not. I just need the drill for right now. Alright, and the drill is made. Although I can technically build the... I'm going to have access to researching the improved tracks, if not the hull. It says I need a uh, production module tier 3 for Okay. Right, where is the drill? There we are. One drill. Go to the primary switchboard and plop it in. Alright. Drip is fine capable of drilling through to area three and that maxed out all my core slots. Really? These things take core slots? Hmm. Odd. Interesting. That or it, I had already maxed out the core slots and it just didn't bother to tell me. 
All right, and the drill looks exactly the same. Uh, I did see on the uh, developer's website, Steam page, uh, the net one of the next updates is supposedly going to, of all the other things that they're adding, of which I just can't remember, but uh, next update, they're planning on releasing new designs for the upgraded drills. So every time I upgrade from the drill type 1 to the drill type 2 to the drill type 3, the drill is supposed to change every time. But uh, now I have the big drill to get to the hard rocks. And we're about to come under fire again. What did you blow up this time? You know, something tells me I'm going to have to silence that drill ship. But truth be told, I just don't actually care. You're at a hundred, you're at a hundred. All these segments are at a hundred. I heard a very big boom. Turrets took a massive hit. Everything looks fine. Everything's churning away. My power generators took a hit. Everything back here looks good. Relatively speaking, I guess. Fix you and you. Oh, maybe somebody threw an explosive. I got it. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Sheesh. It's like they don't like me for some reason. Can't imagine why, I'm just showing up and blowing up all their stuff. Not that critical. They do show up and blow up all of my stuff. So I have to keep shooting them for first. So let's get back underground. And now that we have the shiny, shiny new drill, let's go take a look and see what exactly we're up against. All right, now with the new drill, we should be able to drill clean through these rocks. Just grab this coal because we always need coal because the auger ever hungers. Grab this titanium because it's right here. Grab this titanium, oh, this coal because it's right here. And then this titanium because it's right here. Look how it dug through the rock in one direction and then broke around in the next. Grab that thing. And this. Now look at tier 3 refinery one. Not refinery, manufacturing. And now we dig through the, uh, granite rock. Oh goody, another tier 3 drill ship. Of course I have to pop the periscope up practically within a lava pit. 
apparently the laser device is over there. I can't see it because of how the periscope works. And there it is. That's the next target. Okay then. Probably going to be more heavily defended than the uh, first one. But uh, I have better boom guns now. And by better guns, I mean one. The hand mortar. And technically the submachine gun now that I think about it. I also have grenades and timed explosives. All fun stuff. So let's just take a look to see what else is around in this area. Just a whole bunches of crystals. Probably shouldn't complain, I do need crystal. Oh look, some tier 3 traps. And another tier 3 uh, production module. So... Of course my inventory is full. Again. Uh, you're full, you're full, you're, f you're not full. So there was a tier 2 module that I built somewhere around in here. And I'm probably going to need all this stuff for the uh, laser drill. I'm probably going to need more of this stuff for the laser drill. Alright, while well, I emptied my pockets, I didn't empty this thing out. the tracks to build new tracks I can always scrap them for I'm assuming titanium I believe the tier 2 ones get scrapped for iron so that would technically make sense So it looks like I've come full circle, and I'm not seeing any other cog drill ships other than the one, which hopefully means that only one spawns in here, which means I only have to worry about one drill ship and the uh, defense around the laser device, which is over there. So I'm wondering is, if I pop up here, will I have a straight shot to that leg? And the only defenses I have to worry about are whatever turrets and other modules are supporting that leg as well. Another question is, can I do that in about 11 minutes or 10 minutes with what I currently have equipped? Which is uh, about 228 rounds of submachine gun ammo and 41 mortar grenades as well as four things of armor 20 22 things of health three timed explosives 21 hand grenades the pickaxe the wrench which isn't used for combat as well as my shotgun and revolver and any ammo i have for those which i put away in a box somewhere and i can't remember where but uh all of that is going to be another issue for another time because I'm going to call it here. Everybody stay safe from the plague and um, have a good day.